Yo guys, welcome to my Uber Lab Loots video for November the 20th. In this video, I'm going to be running Uber Lab enchanting a few different unique helmets. I'm going to be getting as many efficient keys as I can. I'll give a rough breakdown of the loot at the end of each video. Stay tuned to see what awesome loot that I got. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We have two keys. Four keys now. Let's go to the other side. Alright, that's pretty good for lab chests right there. And then for the uh, enchants, uh, temp chains, curse effects, spectacle serial throw projectile speed, detonate dead has additional chance to detonate an additional cor corpse. I'm gonna check uh, temp chains, curse effect real quick. All right, I'm going to go Temp Chain's Curse Effect on a uh, Viridi's Veil. Is it my do this yet. Stash. So it goes for about an Exalt, apparently. So there we go. Kerpow. Main Exalt, 2C, and 3C, probably 4. We can squeeze out of there. 4C. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. Three keys. I cannot do this yet. Try here. 26 armor scraps. All right. I'll take it. All right, enchant time. Here we go. Uh, Armageddon brand deals 40% increased damage. Par Plague bearer buffs uh, plus 20% to poison damage over time multiplying. And power siphon attack speed. So all of these are really, really bad. We'll just uh, we'll do this. Bam. We're good. And for our loot, we made 26 armor scraps and 14 jeweler's orbs. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We got three keys again. And I don't see any. Oh, there's one chaos. There we go. Five plural scrolls. Alright, enchant time. Here we go. Uh, additional power charge when you kill with. What's with all these power siphon enchants? Uh, Winter Tide Brand has four maximum plus four maximum stages, proliferate uh, spikes, and uh, crit if you uh, haven't crit recently. And another rough one. All right, let's go Winter Tide Brand. There we go. And then for our loot, we made one C, and that's about it. Maybe two. Probably squeeze two out of there. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We got three keys. Let's try this row this time. Actually, I think we did this one last time. Alright. Five keys. What's that? Scarab. Alright. That wasn't very good. Hopefully this will be better. Uh, shield crush, uh, more AoE. Uh, bear trap damage and uh, ray specter resist. But we got this one, so we'll take that. That's a corpse walker. It's about 50C or so, so bam. And then for loot, we made... Uh, didn't really make anything, to be honest. But we did get a good enchant. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go, three keys. 19 transmute orbs. That could be the highlight of the lab. Oh, it's gotta be superior gems. All right. And enchant time, we have uh, rolling magma damage. Lightning golem deals increased damage. Concentrated path, AOE. All of these are bad again. We're, we're off to a good start this week. Uh, let's put it on here. Bam, there we go. So for our loot, we made a Val orb. Good old Val Orbs. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We got three keys. The Broken Crown. Yay, us. I don't know why that's such a big thing, but whatevs. And then for uh, Enchant, Siphoning Trap. Uh, Vigilant Strike and Spec Throw damage, so all those are really bad. And uh, for 
Yeah, none of these are any good. So we're having just some really good luck this week so far. There we go. And then for our loots, we made one C, and I think these are like seven to one. So one, I'll say one and a half C. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We have three keys again. More gems. More gems. Wow, that's a lot of crap. All right. There we go, we have Scourge Arrow has 8% chance of poison per stage. Storm uh, Bind deals 40% increased damage. Earth Shatter does 40% increased damage. Maybe the Earth Shatter one will go on Abyssus, but I don't know how many people use that anymore. I'll try the Earth Shatter one, it's up for 18C. Oh, there we go. So 18C there, and then uh, another Chaos there. So 19C on that lab. Alrighty, next lab, next lab, here we go. Three keys. Five keys. Is this any good? Uh, nope. And that's about it. Now we got three enchants on this one. Uh, enemies and Void Sphere increase damage based on distance. Scourge Arrow creates an additional pod. Uh, Sentinels of Purity. I think that's pretty good. I think that's kind of meta right now. Alright, I'm going to go Sentinels of Purity on an Abyssus for an Exalt. For the first one. Second enchant. Lightning Spire Trap. Addition, uh, strikes additional area. Ray Zombie damage. Freezing Pulse damage. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to check the Lightning Spire Trap on the one helmet here. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, Lightning Spire Trap thing, try this helmet out a little bit, because apparently this goes for two exalts. So, Kapow. And then for our last enchant, uh, we have uh, spect throw project or Spectacle Shield Throw Projectile Speed, uh, Penance Brand, Increased Cast Speed, and Arcane Cloak grants, grants Life Regeneration up to 15% of mana spent per second. I don't think these are any of these are worth anything, but let me look. Alright, I'm going to try the Arcane Cloak one on uh, Crown of the Inward Eye for uh, 49C. So there we go. So we made uh, one Exalt, two Exalt, and 49C, and uh, that's about it for this lab. I'll take it. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We got big one key. Um, let's go with this one. Alright, it's probably the best one I could have got. Alright, so we got, uh, I think, just two enchants. Yep. So we have uh, heavy strike damage, intuitive link duration, and uh, blade fall damage, and uh, reduced crit thing. Um, let me see what the intuitive link goes for. Alrighty, I'll do blade fall damage on Crown of the Inward Eye for this one. So there we go, it goes for 49C. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the next thing is Wintertide Brand, uh, Chill Effect, Vortex, Increased Cooldown Recovery Rate, and Power Siphon Attack Speed. So the Vortex one might go for something. So we're going to do Vortex Cooldown Recovery Rate on Crown of the Inward Eye. Uh, this sells for 59C. So there we go, 59C, 49 I think that was, and uh, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, next lab, next lab, here we go, two keys, we'll do the end ones here. Alright, there we go. Tainted Blessing, I haven't had one of those in a while. Alright, enchant time, we have Spectral Helix Projectile Speed, Molten Shell Buff Effect, Explosive Trap Damage, and the, so we're either going to have the Regen or the Spectral Helix thing, I just got to see what the Helix one's worth. Alrighty, here we go. We have, uh, I'm going to do Explosive Trap on this. The cheapest one's up for an Exalt. So here we go. Kerpow. And then for Loot, I didn't really make anything. Bunch of armor scraps and stuff. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. Two keys. We'll get these end ones. Oh, I got some Sacrifice Fragments. That's good. Divide Vessel. Alright. Enchant time. We got two enchants. 
uh, ex Wizenade or whatever that's called deals 40% increased damage. Cobra Last Chains three additional times, and Defiance Banner as AOE. Uh, maybe this one. I'll see. I'll try the Exenuate or whatever it's called on a uh, Crown of the Inward Eye. Apparently, it goes for uh, was it 39C, 38C. We go. We got one. Then sweep AOE, uh, mana bound, penetrates uh, lightning res, forbidden right, fires an additional projectile, and uh, reached his life while you killed recently for boots. I'm gonna try sweep area of effect on abyssus for 59C. There we go. So we made 59C there, 38C there, and uh, 1C from the fragments to 5 to 1 now. So not bad if they sell. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We have two keys again. Alright, we got an alchemy orb and some other stuff. And then for loot, we have discipline, uh, increased mana. That one will probably go. A blink arrow, uh, nope. Light intense, nope. And uh, fire damage if killed recently, maybe. But uh, I'm going to go after the aura one. One second. Alright, so this will go on an on a Alpha's Howl for uh, 39C. So here we go. Kerpow. And then for loot, uh, we didn't make a whole lot, like an alchemy orb. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go. We got two keys. Alright, we got a jewel. And then for uh, this, uh, we got Herald of Ice Damage. Uh, Soul Rend deals increased damage. Wild Strike damage. So Wild Strike usually sells decent on an Abyssus, but I'm curious on that Herald of Ice on an Alpha's Howl. I'm going to try Herald of Ice damage on Alpha's Howl because it looks like it can go up to 99C. That was almost the wrong one. There we go. So 99C there, and then we got a jewel. Let's see if it's real, any good real quick. Uh, damage, crit, and resist. Nope. So a 99C and four jeweler's orbs. Alrighty, next lab, next lab, here we go. Three keys this time, we'll go this row. I cannot carry this. Alright, oh, I did buy an Alpha's Howl. I was like, whoops, I forgot to buy a helmet. Oh well. Alright, here we go. Uh, Elemental Weakness Curse Effect, uh, Animated Guardian Resist, and Blade Blast uh, detonates other lingering blades within... 75% uh, increased area. All of these are pretty bad. I'll check the Elemental Weakness Curse Effect though. Alrighty, I'm gonna try Elemental Weakness Curse Effect on the Viridia's Veil. There we go. That goes for 69 Chaos. So we made 69 CE. Alrighty, next lab, next lab. Here we go, two keys. Let's do it. Painted Blessing. Bunch of fragments. Too bad they didn't drop in stacks too. It would make it a little easier. Alright. Enchant time. Here we go. Uh, seismic Trap. 40% increased damage. Vigilant Strike has uh, Fortification. And Fireball Cast Speed. I'm going to check the Seismic Trap on the one helmet that I bought. Well, apparently I didn't buy that helmet again. So, uh, yeah, we don't have any good... Uh, maybe this. But uh, I doubt it. So we have, uh, we made one C that lab. 